hey welcome back so we want to be able to see errors here because if i click save now it doesn't show me anything and it would have redirected if uh, things went well so let's look at checking errors so we'll copy from our sign up view okay let's get the like this bottom part here copy back here and let's look at the product description first paste so in the same way we did here let's go down here and paste as well uh, what's this quantity uh, these are inline so we will paste this after them so I will put both two of these one for the quantity and the other one for the amount Product image, uh, we can add that as well, but hmm, let's see. Okay, there is the save buttons. So now I'll go here, change the username to description. Change this one to barcode. this one to quantity and the other one to amount and this one to image very good let me put a break tag here click save okay so there we go. It says a uh, product description is required. Let's put that red thingy as well. So back to sign up, we go to form control, select this part up to there. Back here, form control, paste, change that to description. Same thing here, paste, Change that to barcode. Same on here and here, paste. Change this to quantity and this one to amount. Uh -huh. Uh, same thing with the image thingy. Paste and image. All right, let's test this again. Save. Okay, at least there we have something. Very good. So let's add a product description, but an image is actually required. So let's go to the product.php class and let's search for image here let's do a check change that image okay so product image is required so instead of image must be a number it should be image must be a valid jpeg or png right so how do we know if uh, it's like that so what i would do is i want to find let's just use a simple check here for the file extension so i'm just going to say ext extension is equal to and uh Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hmm. hmm. Okay, so files go in a different place than these guys. So they won't be in here though. 
so what i can do is but for us to check the file it needs to already be have been uploaded so um what to do here what to do what to do what to do we need proper validation for this uh -huh. however for now let's use that i'll see how we can uh add this to the list anyway i'll say extension is equal to let's use image here so i'm going to use path info and path info has two parameters the path to the image or the file and then what you want to get so i want to get path info uh, extension path info extension so this was supposed to um to become italic oh there it is so i had missed that so which means i'm getting the fire extension here now if you don't put this you can still do this without putting it this but then this result will be an array which will contain the file base name the file folder and then the file extension so by putting this there i'm just telling it that i just want the extension itself i don't want any other information so which means this will be a string and not an array so it will give me the file extension so here i just want to check if the file extension so here i'll say string to lower that way i know the file extension is always lowercase so say if extension is equal to uh, jpeg or extension is equal to uh, jpg or extension is equal to png these are all acceptable but i don't want these to be to to this to happen when these acceptable ones are there so i'll put this in a bracket and then put an exclamation point here this will negate whatever the result is here so if any of this is true then put false then we don't show this if all of these are false then we have a problem okay so the reason i've put this is because some jpeg images are dot jpeg others are just dot jpg so let's see here this should work but we need to supply this data image because it won't come through the post data at all so back to product new or prod, yeah product new.php right here where we add these i'm supposed to add it so i will only add that if it exists so in order to make sure that we are posting we are able to post images on the form here not just the method we need to tell it that we need an encoding type of uh, form uh, I forget what the encoding type is here. I think it's multi-part slash form data like that. Yes. So make sure you add this there. Otherwise, you won't be able to upload any files. So once you do that, then a, uh, a parameter called files or instead of posts, files will be accessible. And files will have a place called image is this named image that's where our file will be so let's check that out once i post here i'm just going to say show files that way we see what's happening and then let's just die so if i browse and look for an image of some kind I'm going to go to my desktop image 
let me find a product image here same old product images so i'll select this one and let's hit save so you see i get an array there that's not cool so let's go back and try again maybe because it hadn't put that enc type there so let's try again and let's save okay so this time we have the enc type and so we have this so there's image there mm -hmm. so image is a thing and uh, this is what it has so instead of just image there's image name which we can check for the extension we also need the type to be image jpeg like this or image png if you want to monitor the file size you can do so as well and if you want to check the error you can do as, as well so let's utilize all of these by doing this so if we send this image um, what we will do is the same way we're putting this content here we will add it to the post so that it goes with the validation so i'm going to paste here and say if not empty right so if not empty files like so let me remove the die let me add this guy to our post listing and call that image right so i get files image and send it there now it's available for validation so let's come down here and change a few things so here we see here what we're looking for is the image data image but then name like so because we want this item okay so the file extension now the file extension doesn't really matter that much so i think we can forget about this line what i really wanted is if empty data image product image is required that's correct but then here maybe what we can do is to check the file type instead so i'm going to say if data image let me copy that uh, because the file extension can easily be manipulated so maybe that's not a very robust way to check for things let's forget about that instead let's use type right so let me put that here and let me put another one here but then call it png and let's remove this other one very good okay so what i want to check for instead is data image type so i'll say if data image type So if data image type is equal to image JPEG or image PNG, then things are good. Let's negate that. Okay, that should do. Now, there are times you may want to check on if there are any errors that occurred. So zero is good. Anything above zero is not good. So what we can do is duplicate this. And we will say, let me remove this greater than zero that's a problem so let's remove everything else so if error so if image error is greater than zero then the image failed to upload then there was an error and then we can put the error number error number and then let's uh, concatenate that error number that way in case you want to debug you can then let's look at the size so maybe we want to limit how much 
over an upload, we can give how big of a file size, right? So let me try here at the top. I'm just going to say image size is equal to four. So we want to change that image size into megabytes, right? So here I've put it like this, so we can easily just type the number of MBs. So what I'll do now is change it to kilobytes, because as you can see, it's actually not kilobytes, it's bytes here. So that's the size. And because it's 1,000, 144,000, that means it's 144 KB in size. So what I would do is I'll say image size is equal to uh, image size, whatever that 4 is, multiplied by 1024 by 1024. Let's put this at max size. That way we know what we are talking about. So max size is equal to 4 MB, but let's multiply that by this and by that to make 4 megabytes. So if the image size is greater than max size, then we have a problem. So let's do a uh, duplicate here. So this one is a size as we have seen here. So if the size right here is greater than the max size, then we have a problem. Uh, so I'll copy this in max size. So we'll say image, let's capitalize these guys. The image must be lower than, and then let's concatenate the max size. Then let's make sure they know it's MBs. Okay, so the image must the image size must be lower than and then max size MB. Now max size we've changed it to this, so maybe not a very good idea. Let's move this to size like so and then leave this at max size. Max size is equal to image size. Actually this is not image size, it should be max. Okay. Then we will use size down here, so that way we still have this small number here. All right, so there we go. Okay, so very cool. Now we need to test all this. Uh -huh.